Okay, Tom Suramac back again. I've got a couple questions I want to answer today. The first one is a real simple, easy one. It's what is a butterfly seam and how do I fix it? Well, a butterfly seam is just a split seam where it's not a glued to the paper adhered properly. Usually it's because they run a hot melt seaming iron through the carpet. They get close to the wall and they don't want to, of course, get glue on the wall or hit it with the hot iron. So they'll pull it up like this and they don't necessarily get enough heat transfer onto that adhesive to activate it. So they're rolling cold adhesive into the backing of the carpet and it doesn't catch. So the simple solution for that is just to take and make sure that the fibers line up well first. Always check before you apply any adhesive and make sure it's going to line up in a butt well. Now if you do this and you see that it's, there's a little bit of a gap, simplest thing to use is a seam squeezer. You put it on a seam like this and it squeezes it together. It'll help to hold it together until the glue hardens. If it matches properly, you don't have to worry about that. You just take your seam, you apply some hot melt, usually a carpet glue stick. I'm not an advocate of using craft glue. You want to apply it a fair amount, just about what would normally be on the tape, and heat it up. So you see I'm just putting thin little ribbons here to simulate what was actually there to begin with. And I'm going to take it and make sure I run it to the edge, but not overdo it. I don't want adhesive squeezing and oozing out everywhere. Then I'm going to take my two backings, make sure there's no traps, gaps, or overlaps. Put these back in, make sure they're aligning up well. And if they align up well, I would then take my seam roller, I would roll the seam and throw my seam weight on. Then I would allow it 10 to 15 minutes before I would have any use, 20 minutes if I was going to stretch against it. Now, if I saw there was a gap before I put the seam weight on as I rolled this in, if I saw there was a small gap, again, the seam squeezers are really great to just pull this in enough that you don't have that gap. And most carpets, that won't cause any problems, any buckles, any ripples, because you're only squeezing it together usually a 32nd of an inch or so. And that allows you to have a really tightly abutted backings, so your seam should be just about invisible. No seam is completely invisible, but we try to get as close as we humanly can. Okay, so that's a Butterfly Seam 101, the simplest repair, and the answer is a simple glue gun, a seam rolling tool, and a seam weight. And the accessory would be if there was a gap to use a seam squeezer, or two or three if it necessitated that, if there was a gap further along down on the line. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed that.